As requested by Movie Club member Alex over on my Patreon, here is my review of The Fourth Kind. Mila Jovovich plays Dr. Abigail Tyler, a psychologist in the remote community of Nome, Alaska. Several of Dr. Tyler's patients claim to be experiencing strange phenomena involving a white owl and unwanted visitors in the night. Soon she starts drawing parallels between her patients' otherworldly encounters and the mysterious death of her husband. The fourth kind has a pretty interesting setup. First, the movie weaves its story around the very real and very strange disappearances of gnome residents over the course of several decades, but it does so in a very unsolved mysteries kind of way. For instance, the movie begins with a very Robert Stack-like introduction from Mila Jovovich herself. She literally emerges from fog in order to introduce herself and the movie. All she really needed was a trench coat. Anyway, she pretty much provides a plot dump and then tries to convince the audience that what we're about to see really happened. And it kinda sorta did. To an extent. You see, between the years of 1960 and 2004, roughly two dozen Gnome residents vanished without a trace. The community of Gnome, with a population of roughly 3,700, is only accessible by plane, as it's not part of the Alaskan road system. Gnome is known for its remoteness and its harsh weather, and the fact that people disappear there rather frequently. There's also quite a few UFO sightings in Gnome, too. The FBI has chalked up the disappearances to excessive alcohol consumption and the extremely cold temperatures. Hmm. <laughs> Of course they would. What the fourth kind has going for it is a nicely mysterious and at times pretty eerie atmosphere. The visuals of a white owl staring into the camera with its large, black, lifeless eyes is pretty effective. And the freaky encounters of Tyler's patience with whatever it is are well done. We're constantly subjected to split screens featuring actual footage of hypnotherapy sessions, audio recordings, police dash cam footage, and an interview with the real Abigail Tyler. So we're being shown what happened while at the same time being told what happened. It seems a bit like overkill, especially providing the opening plot dump and the fact that there's just not a whole lot going on here, despite the overly dramatic attempts to convince you otherwise. The fourth kind features a strong cast, although most of them don't have much to work with. Good actors like Elias Katayas and Will Patton feel wasted, relegated to playing one-note characters who hover in the background, twiddling their thumbs. And as much as I love Mila Jovovich, she just feels out of place here. And it's not that I don't buy her as a psychologist or anything. She just seems to have a difficult time, for lack of a better word connecting with the character, which may not be entirely Miss Jovovich's fault. Co-writer and director Olatundi Osinsami, who also has a small role in the film as himself, seems far more invested in the pseudo-documentary elements of the fourth kind than in simply telling a compelling story. And honestly, the found footage meta stuff isn't very convincing. It's a shame because there seems to be plenty of fertile ground here for a good suspense thriller to grow from. Now, this is actually the second time I've seen the fourth kind. The first time was many years ago. I'm a sucker for this sort of thing. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that alien abduction stories really freaked me out as a kid. I was never afraid of Freddy or Jason, vampires or zombies while growing up, but the idea of being taken from my bed in the middle of the night and transported aboard a spacecraft where painful experimentation is being forced upon me. And why do all alien abduction stories involve a Sexual component. Anyway, alien abductions freaked me out. And the dramatic recreations of alien abductions on Unsolved Mysteries still kind of freaks me out. But despite my love of Unsolved Mysteries and my overwhelming fear of being probed by little green men, the fourth kind just never really resonated with me. The first time I remember thinking it had its moments, but this time around I was mostly just bored. The fourth kind has an interesting setup, wraps its story around a real and strange phenomena, the setting provides plenty of mood and atmospherics, but I wish it would have gone the same lengths to be a compelling suspense thriller as it does trying to be an elevated pseudo-documentary. Huge shout out to Movie Club member Alex over on my Patreon. Thank you for your review request and thank you for being a patron. I really appreciate the support.
If there's a movie you'd like to see me review, follow the link in the description or head over to patreon.com forward slash pizal and join the movie club today. If you've seen The Fourth Kind, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite alien abduction movie is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.